Hey everybody, welcome back. So I thought of doing a very practical video. It would have been very useful for me. I couldn't find anything like this while when I was searching. I haven't looked anymore. So maybe now you can find something else. But I am talking, as you can see in the in the in the title of this video, about a comparison between the Chanel Walk and the Louis Vuitton Felicia. So let me start from the very beginning, how they come packaged. Of course, this is the Louis Vuitton, this is the Chanel. I bought my Louis Vuitton first. So this is the box with the magnetic closure right here. And this is how it comes packed. And I have here the receipt. Let me tell you how much it was. I bought this in, this is my receipt, in 2017. In February 2017 and it was 775 euros I bought this in Paris and uh, I actually I bought the Felici because I was dreaming I've always wanted the Chanel walk and but I thought it was so much money for you know a walk and I decided I was gonna get something similar but not the walk okay now you know I couldn't resist but this was three years ago and I really wanted something with silver chain silver hardware because I'm a silver girl I use gold but I really like more silver so I found this one at that time I didn't want something so flashy I wanted something like sober like plain now I regret that I should have gotten like I don't know, like the, not the, this is the epi leather, uh, but I regret not getting like the one that is like, I can't remember, the Bernie, Bernie, that's the name. So I got this, this is the epi leather in black, with silver hardware, and on the inside, I love that it's pink, it's a dark pink, and let me, Okay, so let me open the Chanel so I can do the comparison side by side. So now, the packaging for the Chanel. I bought this in Paris too. This I got it last year in Rue Cambons and that's why the packaging is a little bit different. It's white. I know that in other stores they're all black. And this opens not like the Louis Vuitton with the magnetic closure, but, but you know, like a regular box like this so let me open this so here it is this is how it came it came with the ribbon and inside i have like all the stuff it, it came with let me see if i have the receipt here i think i don't no i don't have the receipt uh, oh yeah i do no do i no I don't have the receipt, but I bought these last year uh, in September. Yeah, September, I was in Paris. And this one was 2,000 euros. So you can tell the difference, price range. Yeah, of course, I think the fleece is a little bit, I don't know, I, actually, I don't know how much is, is right now, but if you go to Louis Vuitton webpage, you are gonna find the price. Um, so, I couldn't resist. I have been dreaming about this bag for such a long time. And even though I try like to replace it with others, just like with the Felici, I love my, my Felici, don't get me wrong, but I just had to have the walk and I don't regret it at all, but that's another topic. So the dust bag is just so amazing. Of course, I paid like more than a thousand euros more for this one than for this one but you can tell the difference just with the dust bag this is just like a cloth and this is like i cannot tell what's the feeling of this but it's really different so this is how it looks and this is my baby so i just love this so much okay but let's go to the details uh, I, w I wanted to show you 
how how much what what's the measurements they have i'm sure you can find that on both web pages but just to be like a little bit clear so this is in high approximately 13 centimeters and Nineteen centimeters long. Oh my god, I'm seeing some spots that I didn't saw before. It's weird. Okay, but I'm I'm dealing with that later. Thirteen and nineteen, and this is thirteen in height, approx, and twenty-two long in width. This is three centimeters, and this one is like four and a half. So that's approximately the exact measurements. You can find them in their web pages. But this is the gold hardware. I I was I really wanted the silver hardware, but as I had this one in the silver hardware, I couldn't like make my mind to buy another black small bag or a walk or a wallet on chain in this with the same hardware so at least at least i have them with different hardware and i can wear them different jewelry so this is how they look side by side and let me show you right here so the Louis Vuitton police, it's a little bit longer, as you can tell right there, but it's a little bit uh, like less steep. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, right there. The police is a little bit longer. The walk has the pocket on the back, just like they are traditionals, and the fleecy has nothing in there. Okay, so. The Felici on the inside, as I was telling you, has the fascia interior and the walk is just plain black with this zipper right here, which goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. The chain, the hardware. So this one is with this chain and the leather on the inside, as you may know. And the Felici is only the chain. Take it out. From the fleecy, you can detach the chain. That's very nice. I never do that because I love carrying it with the chain. I'm not like a handbag, handbag person, you know, carrying them with your hands. And so I never detach it, but you know, you have the option. The Chanel, you don't have that option at all. You cannot detach this. So that's not a problem for me, but you know. The fleecy on the inside has two pouches and one big pocket right here. You can see it there. And this is how it looks on the inside. And that's it. That's all for the bag. However, the pouches are so nice. I had this one engraved and I love it. I love the color. It has one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight slots and one big slot right here like for cash but you have this other one the epi leather with the zip compartment right there i have to confess i don't use them like usually i want more space in my bag so i use one of them i never carry both of them so because i feel like if I have both of them, I cannot put like my lipstick or something. It, it's it's taking room out of it. So I usually use one of them, depending on, on how I feel that day. So that's the fleecy on the inside. And the walk is just, as I was telling, it has no pouches separately. Here I have a bit of paper and it has three compartments so you have like the main compartment 
with one, two, three, yeah, six, six slots. It's like a brown material on the inside. And then you have the zipper pouch, just like this. Again, with the brown lining and another pocket on the front with the black lining, All right? So it says Chanel right here, Chanel right here, and the zipper, it has the logo. And that's it. So that's the bag. That's both of them. The chains, I would say, let me see. Because that's something I hadn't compared before either. The chains are kind of similar in length. Let me see. No. The Chanel is longer. Right here. Let me see if you can tell that. Yeah, the Chanel is a little bit longer. You can see the difference right here. So when you crossbody it, it will lay a little bit looser. But I don't mind about that. I, I really like it. And you can always change like the chain in different aspects. So that is shorter right here, or crossbody or well, whatever. I have another video with uh, my Chanel using it, my walk. So you can go and see that one. And that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped somehow with your decision. My only thing is that I was really wanting the walk. And even though I love my Epi Leather Felici, I think I, if I would have gotten the walk since the beginning, I wouldn't have this one because I, don't, I actually don't need two wallets and chain in black. But, you know, I've enjoyed them both. These are my go-to everywhere these bags especially when well they're not my everyday handbags because i use a bigger handbags every day but these for traveling i just travel with my big huge G, never full gm and later i just use uh the rest of the days one of these so i'm always taking one of these for my travels so either of them are great investments and I hope if you are thinking about getting one of them, if you have the money to invest it in the Chanel, I will always recommend it because I cannot tell you how gorgeous it is. And the experience is amazing at Chanel in Paris, at least in the Rue Cambon store. In LV, it's, if you go to Champs-Élysées, it's crazy. It's like you are buying I cannot tell, like a pair of shoes, anywhere. It's like you have to beg to buy. And I don't like that experience at all. I'm not spending like three euros like to be mistreated. It's not mistreated, but I don't know how to explain. If you've been there, you know, there's so many people, they are just like, what do you want? Here it is, go pay. And that's not a good experience for a luxury retail store but whatever i love shopping in paris because i always get tax refund however that's another story but with my chanel i couldn't get it i was so mad so i paid the full price but usually i get my tax refund and that's why i wait to go to europe to buy some things so thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope it's going to be useful for you. Bye bye.